The newest coaster to come to Cedar Point is Steel Vengeance. This insane RMC hybrid coaster. Amazing. All right. Now, I'm going to give this a review right now. This is my first coaster review. I'm really hoping that I could start this channel up and do some really good. So, my first coaster review. Here we go. So, uh, Steel Vengeance, the newest coaster to come to Cedar Point. Uh, new for 2018. And I, I just don't have words for this. If I have one word for this roller coaster, it is airtime. It is insane, this roller coaster. I, I don't even have words for it. It's so amazing. All right. It's my favorite roller coaster out of the 97 different roller coasters that I've ridden. Uh, it was going to be number 100 for me, but unfortunately, I couldn't because I needed to ride all 17. And Woodstock Express and Dragster were closed, so I could not ride them. Actually, Dragster was open for a period of time, but it got too many rollbacks. I was just watching it, and it got five rollbacks in a row. But anyway, that's Top Throw Dragster. We're on Steel Vengeance right now. So let me just get into the layout real quick. This thing is truly insane, all right? If you want airtime, you need to go to Cedar Point for this roller coaster. There is absolutely nothing better than this ride at the park. It is definitely the best ride in the park, and it probably is going to end up being your favorite roller coaster you've ever ridden. So, let's just start out with the layout. So, <clears throat> you come out of the station, you go into these weird, you know, whoop de doos just to give you a little summary of what's going to happen on this ride. <laughs> so, you plumb up the 205-foot tall lift hill, and you plumb it straight down 90 degrees. Now, I have to say this drop was a little underwhelming. Uh, it wasn't fast. I mean, no, it's fast, but it's, it's fast. It was like it was really quick. It's not the highlight of the ride, but it is a good part. So you go into these really crazy airtime hills, and you go to this weird outer bank one that gives you like eight seconds of uh, airtime. You go into the first inversion, and then there's a turn right after that, the barrel roll, and it is a really good turn. It's like you soar by some cables, and you like if you're on the right side of the vehicle, you literally feel like you could reach out and touch the cables. It is so awesome. I highly recommend sitting on the right side back row by the way is the best row to go on this roller coaster you want airtime you're gonna get it most in the back row so <clears throat> anyways after that uh cable turn you go into this weird cutback element um it's pretty cool you get a lot of hang time on it but you do turn back really fast after you do that now there are some sections in this roller coaster where it's not rough it's just, it'll jerk you kind of to the side. Uh, there's one right after the, I think, third inversion. And there's one right after the cutback. So after your cutback, you go into this double down. And after that, you go into the uh, mid-course brake run. Now, this mid-course brake run, I just want to say, does not slow you down at all. This ride has absolutely no issues with pacing. So if you would like to ride this coaster. If you want a coaster that will not have issues with pacing, ride Steel Vengeance. There is no issues. So, as you can see, here's that first inversion. Uh, on the other side of the structure is the cable turn. And then you go into the cutback, which is right here. Um, drop down into a double down right there. And you go into the mid-course brake run. So, like I said, the mid-course brake run doesn't slow you down at all. Uh, you, you really don't get slowed down. I mean, I went an opening day and I didn't feel a trim either. So anyway, you go down this pretty steep drop. You do get stuck down and it's really just a bunch of airtime hills. There's an outer bank one. It's, it's insane. So you get more and more airtime and then you go to the third inversion, which is straight through the structure and you feel like you're going to get your head chopped off. I'm not even kidding. That's why they're called head choppers. So anyway, you go through that. And it's just more airtime hills through the structure. And you go into the fourth inversion. So in the fourth inversion, you get a lot of hang time on the on the last two inversions, I have to say. And to end the ride off, you go into six airtime hills in a row, nonstop. What more can you ask for on a roller coaster? 200 feet, it's got the stats, it's got the speed, it's got the height, it's got the airtime, and it's got the inversions, and it's got hang time. It's just everything you want on a roller coaster. This is my favorite roller coaster. If it's not your favorite roller coaster, unless you've ridden, like, some other roller coaster in Europe that's, like, truly insane, I don't know. You really need... It makes the trip out to Cedar Point alone worth it. If every ride in Cedar Point was closed, I would not care, and this was the only one open, I would ride this all day. I wanted to keep going after my seven rides, but I had to get on a little more credits. I had to get Maverick done and Wicked Twister and all those. Um, I don't even know. This this is just insane. 
you know, this ride is just so awesome. There's so many head choppers. It's just a great ride. So if I'm going to give this thing a score, maybe like a te- I, 11 out of 10. It's got to be 11 out of 10. This thing is so insane. Best ride in the park. My favorite roller coaster out of the 97 ones I've ridden. Definitely recommend riding it. It's truly insane. Airtime machine. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this review. And uh, I will see you guys in a, another review or video coming up soon.